Can you describe how you felt when you heard about what had happened? Um, yeah, I, we were devastated when we found out. Ronnie has loved all kinds of animals since he was a little kid. Um, he used to bring home like fish, lobsters to his family, to take a unique pride and interest in his catches. And to have something so traumatizing and detrimental to that passion is just shocking. Rodney Fox was attacked by a great white shark in December of 1963 while participating in a spearfishing competition in Australia. Because of the attack, Rodney Fox needed 462 stitches in his chest and 92 encompassing his entire right arm. Doctors thought he'd never live. He died of spearing fish off Aldinga. About four hours into the competition, I returned and found out that I probably needed a large fish called a dusky moorwong, which was a, a fish I hadn't scored very highly in because I hadn't found a big enough one. And so I decided to swim well offshore, away from the reef to some just rocks out in the weed, which I knew were there in about 60 feet of water. And I snorkeled, I speared two more fish on the way out. As I dived down on this particular dive, I dived down to the bottom looking for the fish and I saw one exactly what I needed, a large one with its head in the weed. And as I drifted in closer and I just was about to spear it, this huge thump and crash hit me in my chest. Knocked the gun out of my hand, the mask off my face, I was hurled through the water faster than I could even swim. And I had a strange thing happen to me. I thought I'd been hit by a train. I'd never been on a train at that stage, so I have no idea why it always races into my mind that I was hit by a train. And then I realised I was underwater and it had to be a giant shark. Now, very luckily, I talked to a friend of mine who had been bitten about by a shark 18 months earlier about what maybe what we could do. And we worked out that the eyes of the shark were probably the best thing to try and attack if you were in any position. And so I gouged around its head trying for its eyes. But the shark seemed to let me go. And I sort of fell out of its mouth. And then I quickly thrust my arm out to try and push it away. But my hand disappeared right over its teeth into its mouth. And before I could, he could chew my arm off, I dragged it out. I ended up with over 90 stitches in my hand. Do you consider Fox's situation a miracle? A miracle? Definitely. When I heard the news that a patient was attacked by a shark, I stopped for a minute and thought, is that even right? Like, do sharks really attack people? I thought it was just a myth. But then I saw him and my heart just sank. I saw the blood and I thought, I've never had a patient this fragile and on the brink of death. I was terrified myself. When you started operating, did you think that you would survive? Honestly, I even doubt myself today when I look back at that moment in time. His ribs were broken. Some of his bones were dislocated. He had open wounds almost everywhere on his body. 462 stitches. Only his chest and abdomen area. That's unbelievable. He also fractured his left and right arm. And I remember he needed 92 stitches all over his right arm. It's truly a miracle that he recovered and it's, it's completely healthy now. It's amazing. When I found out about Rodney, the first thing that came to my mind was like, how is this going to impact his life? When the very thing he loves attacked and nearly killed him, you know, if I was the one attacked, I would never place a foot in the water again. An average person will not be able to recover from that kind of trauma. But Rodney is not just any other person. He is Rodney Fox. Any sort of anger towards the sharks after the attack? Um, Rodney was definitely traumatized by the experience, but um, he felt more sadness and worry than anything. Not for the sharks or himself, but for what other people would think after they heard that, you know. A vicious great white shark attack a helpless human. There's nothing he can do about what already happened and he knows it's not his fault 
well, it's not the sharks either because they're naturally an aggressive animal. But he's doing well right now and he's back on track. So I think that's the most important part. After Rodney Fox recovered, his story became popular not only in his local home in Australia, but also with famous Hollywood director Steven Spielberg. He was given the opportunity by Spielberg to help in the making of the movie Jaws, which has a similar plot to what Rodney had experienced during his attack. What really shocks me more than the attack is the profound sympathy, love, and compassion Rodney still feel for sharks, despite his near-death experience with one. I don't know anyone who would continue to advocate their passion after such a traumatizing experience. Yes, it may be dangerous, and yes, he still remembers the shark grabbing hold of him, but in the end, what really matters is that he loves them. He loves the sharks.